we're going to use the revolve tool in this exercise we're going to select a plane and start producing a sketch in the normal way Uh, with all SOLIDWORKS sketching, we generally start off by roughing out a shape of geometry. You can read off um, the units next to the cursor to see the approximate size you're inputting, but the dimensions will drive the geometry until fully defined. We're going to look at uh, dimensioning now. We could dimension the sketch as it is, but really with a revolve we generally know we're going to be producing a diameter. Therefore it's better to input the diameter value. We'll use a center line to do this. So to add this dimension we select the center line and select the geometry and we can input the radius or the diameter value depending on where we place the, the, the dimension. The diameter tool is active now um, and it will stay active and you can input as many diameter um, values as you want uh, and to, to exit that type of smart dimension tool you can just press escape It'll take you back to the standard Smart Dimension tool. Remember, if you can, um, adding um, linear dimensions to the geometry um, is better than adding dimensions to the points. Just helps control the sketch um, more efficiently. Okay, this part has uh, two chamfers, one on the head and one for the start of the threaded portion. These can be done in the sketch, they don't have to be added as a feature. In fact, it's sometimes better to add it as a sketch, saving uh, the feature from the tree, keeping the tree um, as small as possible. So we set the value of the chamfer and click on the end point. And this type of chamfer was added distance times distance rather than distance times angle. The red symbol next to the dimensions shows that they're linked. So if you change one of those dimensions, the others will update as well to reflect that change. Select the revolve tool and the revolve can have a, a range of directions um, and a range of angles between 0 and 360 so you can produce half of a cylinder in either direction uh, mid plane so equally about the plane of the sketch so 45 degrees plus or minus 22 and a half but we want a 360 degree blind revolve and accept that if you're happy with the preview we can edit the colour click on the part name left click and select the appearance button uh, and part you know, change the colour of the whole part uh, select a colour that you prefer and accept that. Uh, look out for the next video to see how we finish this part.